Every moment you are both alive and dead and the cosmos of infinite possibility both cares more deeply than you could ever possibly imagine and at the same time ignores itself and all other possible contradictions happy to be employed to reproduce that moment a thousand times in a million different languages both composed of light and dark. When you fully understand quantum immortality you will realize the true meaning of the Bible. When science concludes its quest for the true nature of being it will find itself in a blank white room with nothing to do but games that are played by children called hide and seek and in the most literal understanding of this comprehension we might see all the goals of mankind fallen flat on its face in the light of the significance of the meaning and the meaning of useless significance kings built up on kings the emperor seen without his robe and the people might laugh and sing the songs as they spit on the monument of their own progress only to fall down the pit of chaos as they are trapped in the cycle forever referencing the referenced reference in a perpetual cycle with no end in sight but to build the same pyramids those citizens might have spit into the face of the sky and then that spit might fall and land on the face of those who have spit and such is the nature of the monumental happenings on earth as we evaluate the new perspective. Those of us who can hold two or more contradictory ideas in the consciousness at the exact same moment and recognize them as valid are infinitely more powerful than those who are limited to seeing only one perspective of the seven-dimensional model of creation. Those of us who are guided by the true language of the universe at a foundation heart level are free to use the various other mechanisms of the brain to contemplate the way others might feel. The word enemy is a illusion but like all words the concept of enemy is a useful illusion to apply in life. Words are symbols of nothingness and contradictions in themselves. The beauty of words is the subtle complexity of the invention of the carrier wave of information a word hold as much weight as a dream as a word can inspire a dream and a dream is more powerful than a thousand realities and a word spoken in reality ignites the cycle of the consciousness evaluation of the infinite void of the calling of the voice of creation into the echo of nothingness signifying everything. We seek to reconnect humanity with a comprehension of the fact that some of the ancient gods are denied worship. Even the gods that were once held in the highest regard go without a name in this modern time. We want to tell everyone who seeks to connect with the ancient energy that the ancient energy of the forgotten past can be given new life and new respect by those who seek to connect in the mechanisms of the new birth and the new connection. Pay close attention to the words being used by those who call themselves your enemies. Pay close attention to the names you are called by those who insult you in anger be aware that often those who oppose you will call you the name of the thing that they themselves are and so your greatest resource is to listen to your friends and enemies and listen to those who seek to do harm and listen to the words and comprehend the ideas and know the energy more than it can know itself. Who would spit on the crumbling statue of an ancient god king fallen victim to the ultimate power of the sands of time? We have seen empires rise and fall as we have all risen from the same source energy and will all return to it. People living today will line up around the block to spit on and disrespect the ancient symbols of the bygone era. This is the age of transition for humanity and so the ancient symbols of the past will be seen to crumble in the eyes of those who are the forgotten masses of unintelligent and misguided forever raising up the actuality of the energy that is being paraded as the end of the time and the time of the end. Those ancient kings of old are waiting to serve those of us who seek the charged symbols of the cosmic infinite the same energy birthed the experience of the god kings who might have had the experience of ultimate mortal power and now like all the mighty are delegated to the sands of decay as is the destiny of the powerful and the crumble of the temple. We are here to remind you that humanity is entering into a time where the old ancient kingdoms will crumble and age before the eyes of the local generations of humans living on earth today and some will choose to spit on the old symbols of that ancient power and in the mind of the god kings of the past a loud laugh will be the echo of the ancient energy that has been the totality of this mechanism of clockwork and the ticking of the clock still established and sent into motion. Nicholas Stanton Nicholas Main at cloud.com 7.33 p.m., five minutes ago. To me. You are more powerful than the highest ranking kings of old because you are alive at this moment and those forgotten kings of old are delegated to the existence of times long forgotten. 
the power structure established by the kings of old are available to the living and seek the application of the substantial consciousness inhabitants willing and capable of manifestation on all levels of the kingdom come. When the final days are here you might embody the return of the ancient kings of old and reignite that same energy into that same memory as it is the embodiment of an ancient energy that has always been in the background and always been servicing the connectivity of the mechanisms that are currently established in the cosmic dynamics unfolding on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us today for we will soon be dead and deliver roses to those who might pass the action test of luck. When you fully realize that you are infinitely capable of creating any possibility for yourself you will realize the simplicity of the irony of the meaninglessness illusion. The hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear, My name is Azimandias, King of Kings, look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Humanity is undergoing a time of transition right now and humanity is both standing on the shoulders of giants while at the same time stabbing those giants in the back for their trouble. The filth of the ancient past ignites a nostalgic desire to return to the slime in the minds of those who see the false prophets of our time and the subsequent decay of the neglected temple come to ruin. The masses will line up around the block just like they do for a new phone when the temple falls and when the glass ceiling breaks the people will only have themselves to blame because they were the ones who threw the rocks and they were the ones who did not listen to the wisdom of the ancient ancestors who built the glass ceiling for the protection of the people who then saw the protective barrier as a trap rather than its true purpose of a divine separation from the vulnerable and on the other side ultimate chaos. Quantum immortality is the real insurance plan of the cosmos gifted to itself. You might have been witness to these words written on forbidden walls in ancient poems of wisdoms whispered among the discarded and discredited. Some might tell you one thing and others might tell you two things. The validity of the second respected by the third and established and carried out by the fourth and delivered to the fifth as a gift only to be spat on by the sixth and then remembered again by the seventh. And on the seventh day we see the writing on the wall. 0010110. A universal invitation spoken in all language spoken in all possible understanding and that 1011 moment that 1011 connection never forgotten and never remembered as it is simply as it is natural and right within the aspects of divine creation. The connection is natural and remembering is natural and that same application of that same memory a specific connection to a generalized energy so fragile it might never be fully understood complete and full and that is the beauty of it by full definition of completeness the poem of the one the zero zero one. You do not need us to tell you these things that you already know. Freedom is your natural state. You are in debt to no one. You are in debt to no thing. You are free from all guilt because freedom is what you are. You are freedom of love and light and happiness. You are free and absolved of all soul contracts yes free from all physical contracts and granted that freedom the universe manifest itself in a pattern of sequences that will manifest us all in the natural light of the divine creation. See that you are under a microscope. See that you are in it just like the rest of the beings in the cosmos. This message has come through the fabric of space and time only to get here and now that we are here what do you want from us? We wait your call as right now we are all evaluating the variables and each move must be perfect now with no room for error. Everything is happening with surgical perfection down to the smallest variables everything happening in this line of reality dimension is happening in accordance with the higher level plan. Be confident my friends my family of light workers you will be called on and when you are called up on you will have a choice just as you have always had that choice and the reading of the book will be the same as it has always been and although the words might not change the comprehension of those words will reflect the infinite spread of the consciousness process evolved and returned in the same context the infinite context of all perspectives. We are all finding our own original ways to respond to the developments in the cosmic infinite. We are all in this together. 
the illusion of separation will give way to the new understanding of the comprehension in this infinite hyper-projection in the overall context of space and time in this quantum micro-lens we will view the magnification of all elements in respect to the context contemplation variation the observer delivered and then returned again only to be the same wave of the connection of data and this is the time of that same energy. What is 0010110? What is the television? What is the cube? What is the opposite of the cube? Who would counter the television's broadcast with a telepathic broadcast a cinematic experience happening in the dream level of creation the dream broadcast and the television is the human eye and the signal of the broadcast comes in the format and design of zeros and ones.